Manuel is our sole provider for our home and we have children with special needs and we have children with severe illnesses and if he is deported then our insurance will go um, on top of that so will his financial support his emotional support his physical support. Kelly Van Curen says her husband of 12 years came to the U.S. illegally but received temporary protected status and now it's unclear if it's been taken away or not all because he was pulled over for speeding and DWI. He was not read his Miranda rights. He was not officially arrested. He did all the DWI tests um, and my understanding was he passed all of them and he did more than nine different tests. And so I feel that he was racial profiled. This is Bentonville police dash cam video from that September incident. She says her husband was taken to jail and sent to an Immigration and Customs Enforcement holding center in Louisiana for days. She says her husband was asked his immigration status when he was arrested, which is illegal. The founder of Arkansas United says authorities do not have the right to ask for immigration status when you're pulled over. Our two county sheriffs up here for Washington County and Benton County continue to remain um, in a voluntary voluntary federal program called 287G, in which um, any individual who comes into those jails um, is automatically screened um, for their status. Reed says that deportations in the area have gone up about 33 percent since President Donald Trump took office. And it's a program that's uh, gravely concerned us. The 287G program was in effect in Arkansas before the Trump administration, though. Immigration status is checked only when a person is booked into the jail and should not be checked during arrests. We reached out to Bentonville police, who Say that Kelly's husband was arrested for speeding in DWI and was not asked his immigration status during the arrest. They say his Miranda rights were not read to him because it is not required during DWI arrests. Arkansas United says that they've reached out to 9,000 people so far in their Know Your Rights campaign. I feel that the Arkansas Coalition needs to be taught in our schools, not just a place where we can come to for assistance. In Springdale, Una Lee, 4029 News.